Hello, this short video is going to show you some of the support tools available through Blackboard Collaborate, and I'm going to show you how to use the audio setup wizard to make sure that your microphone and speakers are ready to use. The first time you log into Blackboard, you might be tempted to click this link at the very bottom of this um, session page here, and it says, verify your system is set up properly here. This is actually a bit uh, dis uh, disingenuous, I think, or maybe not disingenuous, but perhaps a bit misleading, because it takes you to the Blackboard Collaborate corporate site. And in here, you'd think you'd find very helpful pieces of information uh, ready for you to use. Well, it's very difficult to find useful information here, believe me. Um, if you go to the Blackboard Collaborate web, co web conferencing link for first-time users and click that link, you get to a page that basically says, OK, here's what you do. You check your system requirements. You configure your system. One of the things I found interesting was I had this nice red text that says, unfortunately, you have an unsupported version of Java. Well. I've been using Blackboard Collaborate on this computer with this version of Java for a long time. I suspect that it's a little bit newer than they were expecting. Uh, and then if I scroll down here, I go down to the support por portal and click uh, support portal, and I get back to where I started. So I think my lesson learned from that, um, uh, from that uh, experience is not to use the Blackboard support portal for very many things. I'm going to click join session to start my Blackboard session. Now, if I was joining a recorded session, I would still have the opportunity to use the audio setup wizard. So what I have to do is, once again, uh, accept the download uh, and opening of the Java file. Uh, I'm going to close my download window. I'm going to wait for Blackboard to, to launch. I'm going to say, OK, I will give it uh, permission to access my computer when it asks me to allow uh, access to the computer. And the session should launch. Once it launches, then I'm going to click on the first time I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to click the audio setup wizard. So if I go to the tools menu, go to audio, click on the audio setup wizard. The audio setup wizard will use my default speakers and microphone unless I decide to change it. All right, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to check the speakers. I'm going to make sure I can hear something. Now, I happen to have a headset plugged in, and so I was able to hear the speaker volume fine. You probably didn't hear it through uh, the computer speakers, but uh, I could hear it fine. Uh, the audio input device, it's going to ask me what microphone do I want to use. I have a built-in microphone on this computer, or I could use the built-in microphone input if I was using an external microphone, um, or I could use the Plantronics headset. For me, this is the headset I'm using to listen to and also talk to um, people in the session. So I'm going to click on Plantronic headset and I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to make, ask me to, uh, to test this. I'm going to have a single talker because it's just me. I'm going to record a brief message. You can see the, the volume bar moving there. I'm going to click Stop. And then I'm going to play it and, ma and make sure that I can hear it. I could hear it fine, so I'm going to click Yes. The setup is complete. My audio should be ready to use. Now when I want to talk, I click on the talk button. Uh, if someone else was talking, I should be able to hear them speaking. When I'm done talking, I'm going to let go of the, the talk button. I'm going to push it again, release the microphone, and let someone else uh, have the floor.